Welcome back, witches, wizards, and muggles, and today we are going to be unboxing the Hogwarts architecture wand so that we can fit it atop this Hogwarts wand stand. Let's go, let's go. That's right, we've got the Hogwarts colors behind us because we are unboxing the Hogwarts wand. And this is my first look and possibly your first look at this wand because I don't have a clue what this thing looks like. But we have the Harry Potter logo right there, exclusive design collection. We've got the Harry Potter trademark and timestamps on the back. Let's go ahead and start unboxing this wand right now. And right off the bat, just like all the other house exclusive ones, we have the card. And the card reads, Hogwarts Architecture. Inspired by the intricate designs and hollowed halls of the prestigious magical school, the Hogwarts Architecture Wand celebrates the school's unique aesthetic and architectural detail. Designed with the historic legacy of the school in mind, this wand is for those who dream of walking the halls of Hogwarts. For some of us, for most of us, this is going to be as close as we get to walking the halls of Hogwarts as we pull back the ribbon and we take this wand out of the box as always together. <sighs> oh, this wand was wrong. Oh, oh, this, this is by far the best and most detailed one. I've, I, I have chills. I have chills on my arms right now. This is by far the best wand I have unboxed. I know I said that before, but I will say it again. And this time, I don't think this will, this opinion will change. But before I talk too much and get into too much detail, let's go ahead and take a closer look. Harry Potter exclusive design collection brings to you the Hogwarts wand. This one is by far the most detailed one I have unboxed to date. And I can't wait to show you this in as much detail as I can from the head of the wand to the neck of the wand to the shaft of the wand. Everything about this wand is detailed. Like I said, I don't think that closer look is going to do it justice. So I'm going to try to be as detailed as I can with this wand because there's so much detail to this wand that it is just insane. Right off the bat, we have the top of the wand. It looks like the top pillar of one of the castle pillars. The very top of this, and just look at this. It's so sharp so be careful with the top of this wand so if you take the wand and you start to rotate it you're going to notice these designs in here right there you got dumbledore's gargoyle now that is the entrance to dumbledore's office you say the password lemon drop or something like that and it turns into a spiral staircase and you go into his office now if you look closer you'll notice there's a design right there and a design right there from what I've researched what I think I think one of these is the pensive and one of them is the memory cabinet so this one to me shouts Dumbledore we have a little bit of detail underneath that and as we move down the wand we have every single house mascot right here we've got the serpent the badger the eagle and the lion like I said this is possibly the most detailed one I have ever unboxed. And right here, we have more pieces of the castle, it looks. And right here, the whole entirety of the wand is detailed down to the shaft of the wand. And we also have the timestamp right there, trademark 2020. My one and only gripe that I have to this one is that I wish it were a different color. This one, if you can see it, it's brown in color. Now, when I think of Hogwarts, when I think of the Hogwarts castle, I think of ancient stone, maybe gray in color and multiple colors and old and wore out looking. I don't picture something brown in color. So I think they could have done this want a lot more justice by making it look more like the colors of the Hogwarts castle being brown in color. Also, I guess this would be my second gripe. 
everything is pretty much the same color. So if they would have made this wand different colors, everything I think would have popped out a little bit more because it's it is a little difficult to see all the details in the video. So those are my only two gripes I have of this one. Other than that, this wand shouts majesty. This wand shouts Hogwarts. This wand, believe it or not, shouts Dumbledore because there is no Hogwarts without Dumbledore. So that being said, I think we need to put this wand in its rightful place on its Hogwarts wand stand right now. And there it is. Let's get this thing set on there. And it sits beautifully upon the Hogwarts house wand stand. This thing is nice. And this wraps up our house wand stand journey. If you haven't seen all the videos, I'll put them down in the description below. I'll link a playlist at the end of this video. And if this video wasn't detailed enough for you with this wand, drop a comment down below. Let me know. And by popular demand, I will make a video dedicated to this one and make it the most detailed video I've ever met. But if this video was good enough for you, let me know too, and I'll see you all next time. Nice!